Guys, today's video is a little different. It's a bit of an older one. I filmed this a while back, um, as you'll notice from the differences in the hairstyle and the facial hair and everything's a little bit different and the background's very different. So I filmed this one a while ago. It's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and uh, it's just a video that never made it to the channel, but I want to put it up because it's a fun video and I've still got Bebop and Rocksteady to uh, review from this collection. So I kind of want you guys to see the turtles before I do Bebop and Rocksteady. Uh, turtles were a massive part of my upbringing, guys. I really loved the Ninja Turtles. They were a big deal to me growing up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, it's a little bit of an older one, so please forgive me. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a half shell. Turtle power! Hey, guys. It's me, host Super Zoro. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I Leonardo! Donatello! I couldn't see which one it was! Raphael! And Michelangelo! There's <coughs> a lot of dust on them, they've been sat on the floor for a while. Oh my god. So, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the Nickelodeon collection. Uh, but these are based upon the classic 1980s versions of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And there are 34 points of articulation, a part of the Classics Collection. This is awesome. Um, I'm not sure who these, these are made by Giochi Preziosi? I don't know who that is. Never heard of those before. This is awesome though. Inspired by the original animated series from 1988. And I've got all four of them, and we're going to look at all four of them right now in this video. So let's take a look at them. Let's start with everyone's favorite, Michelangelo. Oh, no. They don't want to come out. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a half shell. Turtle power. Ah. These don't want to open. I will never be defeated by packaging. Ah. <laughs> Let's get a little booklet out. Ah. And we have Mikey. Okay. He's not got any um, rope ties. Awesome. God, he's still not going to come out. Oh my god, he's well sealed in. I'll tell you what, guys, I'm going to unbox all four of them. I'll be right back in just a second. And they're out of the box. Thank god for that. And I was just looking through this little leaflet that came with the figures, and it just shows you all the different other Teenage Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff you can get. But one thing that I did spawn here, which I'm actually going to try and track down, because they look awesome. Oh, it looks so cool. Let me just fold this back so I can show you guys on the camera a little bit easier. They have the comic book variants of the turtles. Right there. I want them so bad. The basic figures, but they're based on the original uh, comic book artwork design. And I would love them. So I might be trying to track those down. Now, I grew up in the early 90s, and TMNT was still going as the original animated adventures. I had it on VHS tape, and it was possibly one of my favorite programs on Earth as a kid. And it still is technically, as an adult, it still is one of my most favourite treasured memories of my childhood. I had the Technodrome and all sorts. I've said to you guys before about a series of videos that I'd love to try and do, where I basically try and track down all the toys I used to own as a kid. And um, I'd love to try and do that sometime, so if that's something you're interested in, you know, some more nostalgic toys, let me know in the comments down below. Guys, so, let's just look at Raphael first of all. He looks badass. I love these uh, figures. They have 30 points of articulation, so you can sort of crunch that ab crunch forward and get him in like a lunging stance. It looks awesome. You can get some right poses out of these figures. Uh, so let's talk articulation while we're at that subject. So we can move the head left and right. It is on a slight ball joint, but due to the shape of the head and the ball joint, it doesn't work out as well as it should. But you can lift his head backwards, but it doesn't go forwards. Uh, the turtle's arms, I've got plenty of articulation, but are very hard to move. That could just be my ver ver versions I've got here, because they're brand new. But the uh, 
we have an arm joint here that lifts up and down at the um, shoulder. We then have the movement here in the top part of the arm. And we also have another joint here uh, for the um, elbow. And then we have a hand joint as well. So that as well can turn as well. And as well as the hands, the fingers have their own articulation. So you can get the, them down into like a fist. So that's pretty cool as well. That's that's uh, quite unique to this figure, I believe, to these figures. Um, so they can grab their weapons. There you go. Look. So you can put his hand like that so he can grab his weapons. Now, in the we have the ab crunch. We have the legs can the legs have complete freedom movement. Uh, so we have an upper hinge there in the in the at the top of thigh. Then the thigh itself has a split joint here, so you can not only twist it outwards, but you can hold that piece there, and it does separate as well to get full articulation. We do have a knee hinge here that does bend all the way back, and we even have a lower knee hinge, it's double hinged at the knee to get him to do some really weird martial arts stances. And again, the foot is on a rotation as well. So you can get some crazy poses out of these figures, and even the toes have their own articulation. They don't want to move at this particular moment, but they are. They have got the little ball joint hinge there, uh, so they can move. Now these are based on the classic TV series that I remember, but they're also based, in case you didn't realise, on the old classic figures as well. They have the exact same um, figural sort of accessories and. Uh, components that, that the original had. They have the original big belt here with the R on it, but they have the two holsters there. So we can just slot his side into those little like that. So you can just slot his side straight in, which is awesome. Now the bases that these figures come on are based on a, a New York City um, street, what do you call them? Street grates? Grates in the street? We don't have them here in the UK, so I don't know what, they don't know what you guys call them. But they're the, they're the sort of street grates that you see, the steam rising from them, leading to the sewers. So that's pretty nice. And they do stand on that. They do have some little pegs in their feet to stand on them. Now I've shown you Raphael. Let's move on to the other figures in the range. So we have Michelangelo. I won't go through articulation on each single figure, because it's the same identical for every fig. And um, they just obviously got the different accessories. So we have Michelangelo that comes with his nunchucks. And again, these have the same thing that the old 1980s figures do. So you can slot those into the back of the turtle. Like that. <laughs> like so. Oh, that one don't want to go through. Go in. There we go. Like so. it just slots in awesome and again they all come with the street great and it's got their name on them as well which is a nice touch moving on we have Donatello my personal favorite of the turtles he was always my favorite as a kid he was the geeky scientist one oh no <laughs> just pulled the hand apart now, luckily, the hands are on uh, the fingers are on a ball joint, so I can now I can show you guys now. It just pops in and out on like a little ball joint. So you should just be able to pop that back in with a little bit of a push. Ah, there we go, and he's all back together. <laughs> I'm really comfortable. Oh, Jesus, they're really, really temperamental and fragile. So let me move that forward and then pop that back in. I was going to try and make him display the weapon for you, but the fingers are being very temperamental on this figure. So I'm just going to put those back into a standard pose, and I'm not going to mess with those too much. <laughs> but the uh, it comes with his bow staff, obviously, and that slots into the back of the turtle, like so. Just like the classic 1980s. And then finally, guys, we're going to move on to Leonardo, the leader of the pack. You know, as well, I would love them to make, is it, what are called, Silver Samurai, did he call himself? When Raphael left the Turtles <coughs> and went solo for a while, didn't he call himself the Silver Samurai or something like that? I'd like to see a figure based on that as well. That TMMT animated movie didn't do too well, I don't believe. 
and then we have the side. So I'll just slot in. Yeah. They just slot in. These are identical to the ones I had as a kid. Right down to the hole at the bottom as well. <laughs> Except these ones don't poke through at the bottom. The ones I had a kid, the sword actually poked through at the bottom. These are awesome figures though, guys. I really like them. As I said, guys, I'm a huge fan of the turtles. What do you think of these figures? Let me know in the comments down below. Smash that subscribe button. It really supports the show. And helps me keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll speak to you again soon. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye-bye.